Hello and welcome to the Profus installation tutorial. This module focuses on how to utilize the 3D design module to create your specific design application from the ground up. The benefits of a modular system allow you to create and customize even a complex design. Begin by clicking on the 3D Design Modules section on the software homepage. A new project will be created. Name your project and click OK to continue. Choose your design basis and load combination settings under the Basis tab. For a more in-depth explanation of these settings, please refer to the Profus Installation Load Combinations tutorial. While still under the Basis tab, choose the system that will be used for the support beams, MI or MQ, the material type, and the building material that will serve as the basis for fastening the support application to concrete or steel. The software will propose appropriate components based on these selections as you proceed through the design process. For this example, we have selected an MI system fastened to a concrete-based material. We have chosen an NA LRFD basis with a load combination of ASCE 7-05. Once these first selections have been made, click the Design tab to view its components. The toolbar has four sections. We will cover three of them in detail, Tools, Objects, and Loads. The Tools section of the Design toolbar contains the following buttons. Selector activates the cursor to select objects in the isometric view. Dimension adds dimension to the design application. Guidelines adds construction lines to the design application. Clear Guidelines removes construction lines from the design application. Copy Load After selecting a loaded object in the isometric view, this option makes an identical copy of the object with minimal spacing between the two objects. Move Origin moves the origin of the design application to maximize 3D workspace. Set Zero Point This option moves the default zero point x equals zero, y equals zero, z equals zero along the support beam. The Objects section of the Design Toolbar contains the following buttons. Add Beam. It adds a beam to the design application. Add Node. It adds a node to the design application. Add Fixed Support. It adds a support that resists moment forces to the design application MIC-90L, MIC-C-90D, Mic S 90 a etc. Add Pinned Support. It adds a support that does not resist moment forces to the design application. Mic 90 u Mic C U M A, Mic C 90 u etc. The Loads section of the Design Toolbar contains the following buttons. Add Pipe. It adds a pipe to the design application. Add air duct. It adds an air duct to the design application. Add cable tray. It adds a cable tray to the design application. Add point load. This button gives options of adding dead, live, earthquake, wind, and or snow point loads to the design application. Add distributed load. You have the option to add dead, live, earthquake, wind, and or snow distributed loads to the design application. Add Moment Load. You have the option to add dead, live, earthquake, seismic, wind, and or snow moment loads to the design application. For this example, we will create a suspended platform with dimensions of 3 feet by 4 feet braced on one side like the one shown. To begin, select the Add Beam option in the Objects section of the Design Toolbar. Start at the origin and begin to draw a simple trapeze by dragging the mouse in the desired direction. A single left click will add a connector and continue the beam. A right click will add a connector and finish that section of the beam. 
At this point, ignore any warnings as long as the overall design application is still incomplete. Continue to add beams until the structure resembles the one shown. Now that the structure is finished, add the base plate connectors that will serve as moment forces resisting the connection movement. To do this, add on the Add Fixed Support button in the Objects section of the Design Toolbar and click on the desired location to set the support. Continue to ignore any warnings as long as the overall design application is still incomplete. Now, add the non-moment resisting connections. To do this, click on the Add Pin Support button in the Objects section of the Design Toolbar and click on the desired location. Now that the application is complete, you should not see any warnings. If you continue to see warnings at this stage, there are unaddressed design issues. Refer to the warnings for direction on resolving the issues before proceeding. Before adding dimensions to the design application, remove the drawing guidelines by clicking the Clear Guidelines button in the Tools section of the Design Toolbar. To add dimensions, click the Dimensions button in the Tools section of the Design Toolbar. Click on the start of the measuring point, the end of the measuring point, and once in the direction that you want the dimension to show on the isometric drawing. The final click will set the position of the dimension. To change the default value, click the selector button in the Tools section of the Design Toolbar. Double click the current dimension value to change to a user defined value. Click the OK button to accept the user-defined value. Using the scroll button in the middle of the mouse will zoom in or out of the isometric view. To verify that the software selector tool has chosen the connections most appropriate for your design application, double-click on an individual node in the isometric view. This will open another window showing the connector the software has chosen along with all other available connector options for your design application. Alternate selections can be made by selecting the picture of the component or by selecting the name of the component. Accept any changes by clicking the OK button. Verify that the design application looks like the intended design by clicking the View CAD Construction button under the Design Toolbar. The design is now complete. Please view the Profus Installation 3D Module Load Application Tutorial for instructions on applying loads to your design application inside the three-dimensional design module. Thank you for watching the Hilti Profus Installation 3D Design Module Basics Tutorial. If you have any questions, please call us at 1-800-879-8000 in the U.S or 1-800-363-4458 in Canada.